Welcome back. I hope where you're watching from is a lot warmer than where I'm filming currently right now outside. I think it was like 24 degrees here this morning. And you can see Dad, he is working on my alternator of my car. So when I'm filming this is uh, Tuesday, just the day after New Year's. And we, me and Austin were getting up for work and he went outside to tr crank his truck before work and he goes early because he gets off early. So it's about 6.45 and he comes back in and he says, my truck won't crank. And I was like, oh no, his, his is the more reliable vehicle out of ours. And I was like, well, okay, let me, you just crank mine and let me take you to work and, and we'll, then we'll have my car. So it was still dark outside. And as soon as I got in my car, I noticed the dash lights did not seem to be as bright as normal. And then I thought, well, okay, whatever. And then I noticed the headlights didn't seem to be as bright as usual. And then when I was backing up our driveway, I could not see anything. I, I was like, I don't even know how I'm going to leave our house and take you to work because I could not see and then that's when I noticed the light was on on my dash and it was a little battery light and you know, the plus and the minus. And I was thinking, is that a battery light? Because if there was something wrong with the battery, it just wouldn't have turned over, which is what we think is wrong with Austin's. Then I was like, maybe this is the alternator because the lights don't seem to be as bright. So we're on the way to his work and he's looking up the light. I'm like, look up what this means. I definitely thought it was the alternator and it was. So, <laughs> At that point, I was slightly nervous because, of course, if the alternator stops working, you are just stopped right where you're at. But thankfully, I got him to work and I was able to make it all the way back to my house. And I called my dad and I was like, you think this is the alternator? And he thought it was. And I was like, OK, I hope that I can make it home. But I will let you know if I can't because you'll have to come get me since Austin doesn't have his truck. And once it got light enough, I cut off my headlights and cut dash lights off. I didn't have the radio on, just trying to save all the power I could. Thankfully, I made it back to my house and I left the car running and I threw Olive in the car, got all my stuff in a matter of like two minutes, got back in the car. And at that point, the car was sounding really weak. Like I could tell it wasn't running that well. And so I was thinking, I really hope that I can make it to my parents' house. <laughs> and I did, <laughs> thankfully. But I was sketched out because several years ago, and I think we've told this story on the channel before, Katie and I were driving the Forerunner. And I think this is like when I first met Austin and we were coming back one night, it was in November. It was probably just as cold then as it is today. And the alternator went out. And when we got in it, we knew that it was kind of funny, but we just thought, well, it's the battery. And as long as the car's running, it'll charge it, it'll be fine. And we got probably not even halfway home and the dash light started going out. And I was like, oh gosh, this is really bad. You know, it was dark, cold, and we got really close to home. That's when I still lived here at mom and dad's. And like all the dash lights started going out, the headlights. And Katie said it was getting harder to drive. It just felt like the pedals wouldn't work. And we made it maybe several hundred yards from home thank god and it just died completely died uh barely had no steering so katie had to call dad he had to come and pull it with a chain in the dark and we pulled it down to my uncle's house so while i was driving today i kept thinking i really hope that that does not happen to me but thankfully it did not so now dad is trying to fix it i actually got in touch with our mechanic i just hated for dad to have to be out here in the cold working on it but our mechanic is sick and he said it would take two to three weeks and i just it's hard to be without a car for two or three weeks, which good thing is his mom and dad have enough here that we can borrow one. So dad is going to try to, I guess, get the part of my alternator off that I need because tonight when I pick up Austin, I'm going to uh, take it with me and we're going to go to the auto parts store and get him a battery and then maybe get the part that I need. So this has been a very eventful start <laughs> of the new year. Nothing terrible, just, I guess, one of those things in life and just kind of interesting. Basically, what I'm doing is trying to see, and uh -huh. I can't. Poor Dad. Do you need me to hold a flashlight down there? And I don't know exactly. I've got a bolt or two to take out, and I can't tell from here exactly which ones need to come out. I've got the belt loose, the top bolt out, and the wires off of it, like my plug that I made. <laughs> yeah. To keep the antifreeze from pouring out everywhere. Yeah. That's all I could find that would fit the hole. That works. How did you learn how to work on cars? I mean, how do you even know how to take the alternator on and off? Out of necessity. <laughs> <laughs> Dad's done all kinds of stuff on our vehicles, and we used to have a, was that 85 Chevy? Mm hmm And we did all kinds of stuff on it. I put a motor in that. Yeah. 
That was fun. Yeah, that was real fun. <laughs> I guess I can try to get on it with that shorter one. It's just, it's shorter and you've got less leverage. I guess I could take the wreath off the car at this point. <laughs> Not Christmas anymore. As far as I know, I've never changed the alternator on this car. So I don't know if this is the original one or not. It is. Oh, okay. Well, this car is from 2010, so. So you put a little leverage on something and it goes easy. Yeah. Pretty simple. So I'm gonna go a little further. Or do you wanna come back over here in the night with a big light and may put it on? I think that's a great idea. What do you say midnight? Yeah. <laughs> there it is. Alright. I'm going to put that back over there and put that right there and then try to get that thing pried loose. Thank you, mechanic dad. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So this is several hours later after I helped mom today and I just dropped all of home and I'm about to go get Austin and we just decided we're just going to grab something to eat. I was going to make spaghetti tonight but at this point it's already getting close to 4 30 and then by the time we get the battery and get home and I do not feel like cooking spaghetti. So we're actually going to go to rib country and Katie is going to meet us there. So even though this has kind of been a little bit of a crazy day it will be nice to get to end it with a meal together. Gotta let me in, dork. <laughs> What's up? How was work, doll? It was good. I got sent presents at work. Nice, what is that? A Danish Kringle. I have no idea what that is. That's cool. Never heard of that, but. Good. I know one problem your car has. Person driving there. Oh, thank, thank you. I know it looks like one spoon, but I promise there's two spoons. <laughs> okay. All right, enjoy. Well, you can use the awesome spoon if you need. I don't want to call you to Don't even lie, you're going to have some. Be careful, that film could be hot. Yeah, thank you. It could burn. So, I got to work on my truck tomorrow, which I'm bored. I hate that place. Sketchy, takes forever, and it's always higher and everywhere else. the sunset. That's pretty, ain't it? But it's not as pretty as you. Oh, thank you. Thanks. <laughs> you too. <laughs> now we have to part ways and go across the busy highway that you hear to the auto parts. I'm going go. home. <laughs> yeah, you go home. <laughs> I'm tired and I'm cold, so. Okay, love you. Love you, bye. Bye, see you later. See you later. So unfortunately, we could not go right across the road. So, that place was closed, so we had to come back into town to the, is this AutoZone? This is AutoZone, yeah. So, we're gonna see if they have what we need. We'll find out. That thing a limited sport. 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 Sometimes it makes a difference on the mm -hmm. on later what it's got on it. Yeah. And it is four wheel drive, if that makes a difference. Yeah. Four cylinder? Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. It's a 2014. Chevy Silverado. Chevrolet truck. Silverado 1500. 1500, yes, sir. LT. Mm hmm. 8.6. So we made it home. Today has been slightly frustrating, just to be honest. It's been a day. But that's okay. We're going to try to get on the battery and the alternator maybe tomorrow and the next yeah. day. Yep, we'll get to work on it. Yeah, I'm just glad that we could borrow Dad's truck. Yeah, battery shouldn't be too hard. Alternator, that's up to your daddy. I can't do that. Yeah. We did get a nice meal out of it. <laughs> yeah, we did. Got to eat some rib country. Always good. It's always a nice thing. Mm-hmm. Let's get off here and unwind for the mm -hmm. evening. <laughs> yes. We need some relaxation. Yeah. So this is the next day. 
the next evening it's very cold and now we're fighting dark darkness but Austin's gonna put his battery in and then hopefully he will be up and running tomorrow and then I'll be able to take my dad's truck back to him and we can get the alternator on my car tomorrow let me know if there's anything I can do to help you I won't I will have hot soup waiting on you when you come in the house that would be perfect I hate having to do anything in gloves I know I hate gloves too because you can't feel anything nope your truck kind of has the same same thing going on as my car still got the wreath on so i guess we're gonna have to take that off since it's no longer christmas or even new year's so you have to take that whole thing off just to get the battery out gotta take this off and then take loosen this flip it up just to get the battery out gosh yeah that's off so there's some way this whole thing is supposed to come off. I'm gonna figure out how that is exactly. That's not good. Uh oh. I mean, it'll be fine, but I'm probably not supposed to break that. <laughs> probably not, but that's okay. I mean, they make it so hard to get to. How could you keep from breaking stuff? You're going to need 140 seconds, 16 That's the one. <laughs> 147. 40 what? I don't know. I don't know what I said. I'm not a precision man. I'm a fumble around till you get it right type of guy. Yeah, that's okay. There we go. Okay. Physically, out. doing it without breaking my neck. Yeah. Okay. Out with the old. In with the new. So now, Got her lift out, babe. Getting close. Okay. Over here. All right, am I forgetting anything before I do this? I don't think so. Only the screw that I put in my pocket. Oh, no. Yes, 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 I know. Can't stand to be without us for two seconds, I know. Okay, one car down, one more to go. That's right. We're going to eat some soup and go to bed. <laughs> Finally. Get warm, maybe. Yes, please. This is what will hopefully be the last day of this video. <laughs> Dad is working on my car, he's getting the alternator in, and then we should be good to go. Shouldn't have to worry about it anymore. Looks like he's already got it in, so maybe that will be the worst part. Is it going fairly easy? Well, so far, I've got it slipped down in there and close to the boat holes, I think. That's good. I figured getting it in there would be the hardest part, so that's good if you already got it in there. 
I'll be real happy when the two bolts are in and the belt's on. And then the wiring and everything ain't bad. Yeah. Okay, there's that. And I think I just felt threads, maybe. Oh, that'd be good. So far, it seems like putting it in was easier than taking it out. So far. I'm going to route it back around that tensioner. And around that pulley. While simultaneously moving the tensioner. Pretty tight space. I don't know how much prying I can get with this right here. Felt it come off of where it's supposed to be down in yonder. Uh -oh. oh, geez, it's okay. That's all right. I can see, but it come off that bottom pulley. Hold this. I don't want it to come off nothing else. All right, we're back on. Okay. And it's around that, and it's around that. That should be it. Whew, mercy. Alright, that's probably the worst part of it. Yeah. Which one of them is which? Which bolt? I'm thinking that one probably is right there, maybe. Don't draw blood. I know, I've seen that. I always do. Yeah, you usually do. That goes there. I've got to plug this in. See if it cranks. All right. Oh, yeah. 14 bolts. 14.15, so that thing's charging now. All right. Thanks, Dad. You're welcome. All right, I'm going to end this video here. It is very cold out here. Slightly frustrating that both cars broke at the same time, but I'm so thankful we were able to get them fixed. So thankful that Dad and Austin were able to do some labor that saved a lot of money, a lot of time. So really, I can't complain about anything, but comment below and let me know any car troubles that you've had, specifically if you've had an alternator or battery problems. I'm sure some people have. As always, thank you for watching. God bless you, God keep you, and I will see you on the next video. Okay, would the lighting be good if we face the sunset? <laughs> Get up out of my space! <laughs> I had on the way home, we stopped by Wendy's and I ate an entire thing of large fries, one right after another, all by myself. Good. And ate some milkshake. I felt a little bit sick before that, and I can't tell if it's all the fries or I'm still hungry. I think it's because I'm still hungry. That's and that okay. was a lot of grease. That's okay. Gosh. Gotta give my arm a break, I'm weak. <laughs> huh? My arm, holding it, having to hold this up to video gets tired. Look at you pretending like you know what tools are. It is pretending. <laughs> Even though I work for a tools company. <laughs> Take another break. Arms burning. Do you know where you I don't know. Me? I don't know. I'm struggling. Okay. <laughs> I hate being a dumb dork. You're not a dumb dork. I am. To be like you told me this morning. Hey, you're talking about my best friend. <laughs> you're right. so sweet. That was sweet. You're precious. Don't do this to me now, Bessie. <laughs> Come on, Jeffrey. Oh, thank okay. God they hit the ground. Yep, thank God. All right, you're going to have to hand me this bar laying on the ground over here. Well, I don't know if I can get back in that thing.